Okay. Event six. Um, I really don't know where I was at going into this event. And over in lane number eight, Alexis Raptus, sixth place overall with 382 points. Hey, are we doing handstand push-ups? Oh, sixth place. We're doing handstand push-ups, right? Well, we're going to talk about Alexis Raptus if you got handstand push-ups. Won the Echo Bike Challenge at the games last year. Can they hear that? What are you saying? Oh, okay. This is so weird watching. I never watch, but I should watch. Um, okay, so they split up the 20 overhead squats, 10 and 10, which... I didn't really care. I think it would have been kind of cool to have to go 20 because I do think that some people wouldn't have been able to. But I really like overhead squats. Brandon asked me <laughs> what I would change in this workout if I could have made it, like, better for me. And I was like, I feel like heavier overhead squats. Mainly because I've, I, like... Overhead squats have always just been one of my favorite lifts. And then the row, I don't really know what I was holding, but I think it was probably like 156 or 7. It was very conservative because when I practiced this workout um, before, this is so hard to talk and watch. Oh, my gosh. When I practiced this workout before, I went out way too hot, and I blew up, and I failed my rope climb, and I slid down and burned my fingers, and I was pretty freaked out after that, because it was just like, I mean, I didn't think I was going out too hot, and it just hits you out of nowhere on the legless rope climb, so I knew that this first part, the squats in the row, we're really just... How fast did you come out in practice in the row? Uh, I didn't come out that hot in the row. I mean, I was probably only like 153. It wasn't like anything crazy. Um, it was more... I barely rested between rope climbs, and I went unbroken on my handstand push-ups. So this time around, I was just way more conservative. I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want to risk the... Potential of blowing up. So here you're just you're just chilling. Like this pace is super chill. Um, honestly, the workout is handstand pirouettes, hands uh, rope climbs, and handstand push-ups. It's just that middle chunk. The rest of it didn't really matter. I mean, at the end you'll see that I was able to catch up. But when we get to this, were you looking forward to the event? Um. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a fun one, but it was also just a, a high-risk event with the legless, so I was definitely nervous, and um, this was the morning I woke up not feeling good at all. I was pretty sick and could not keep any food in my body, um, so I didn't really have, like, super high expectations on this workout. I thought I would do well, but... Um, there you are. Middle of teal. There I am. But, yeah, like, looking back, it would have been fun to try and push the pace a little bit more. But, honestly, did you walk unbroken? I think I, yeah, I did. Here, it's just like, it looks like we're all just chilling, mainly because you, I mean, if you go up to, before your arms are ready, you're screwed. And if you watch some other girls in other heats, you can see, like, some girls blow up and you just, it's so hard to come back. Oh, that big no rep day that you talk about. Oh, there you are. Was, uh, it, was it the first rep? I don't No, it wasn't the first rep. Raptus is really doing some textbook legless climbs. This is rep number two. Hide some chalk in the sports For Evan Carey on the left side of your screen. Yeah, Carey, good climb, steady. I'm Extended actually looking at the field. clock right now. I'm timing my rest because I didn't want to go too fast. What was your rest time? Um, like 30 seconds. I think in practice I was more like 20 seconds. 
because she keeps her elbows, she's climbing with her lats, not her biceps. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a legless rope climb. So he, he told well. me I oh, got a no reps, and then I went right back went, up. went back up. <laughs> and then right back down, which that rep freaked me out because I – I knew how much rest I needed if my reps were perfect, but because I had to do an extra, like, half a whole rope climb, um, after these handstand push-ups, I was a little freaked out and didn't know what my time should be, like, for rest. So I rested a little bit longer than I think I needed. Um, these were easy. The handstand push-ups, I wish that there were more of them. Um but I re this oh I almost kicked him. This rest I shouldn't have rested that long. Like I don't know. Man, if we could watch that rope climb again, that no rep, you didn't even pause for a second. You just saw the flash of the no rep and you got up back up there. Oh yeah, I I didn't even think about it. I can't even believe I did that. But honestly, my pulling felt really good at that point, and I. I mean, imagine if I were to have come all the way down, I would have rested probably 30 more seconds and then gone up, and that would have been who knows how many spots. So, I mean, that pretty much saved me. And I also feel like the handstand push-ups were kind of a rest between the rope climbs for me. Daniel Brandon is now taking the lead. She's back to the road for the second time here. She got through her 20 wall facing handstand push ups. And Emma Lawson, right side of your screen. She's under the rope climbs as well. Those are your top two. Here comes Alexis. Yeah, no, Brandon I was just like, make it as clear as possible. It's funny though, that angle isn't the best, but yeah, see, like that rep looked exactly like the other rep in my, in my head, but I remember touching the red. Adam even looked back, and uh, you can clearly see me touching the red. So, I mean, it shouldn't have been a no rep, but in the moment, like, the judge didn't think I saw it, and that's all that matters, and you just have to figure out how you're going to move on from it. In that moment, since you're so close to your other competitors, are you at any point, like, side-eyeing or seeing where everybody's at? And um, The only person I feel like I – could feel was Danielle because she was right next to me everyone else I I had no idea really where I was at yeah it looks like I have one more but I did know that once you got to the row back to the row you're not going to be able to make up much time because a 500 meter row like you just can't make up too much time there and you also don't want to push it that hard because you have the squats I'm curious. I wish that they showed. Oh, there I am. So, honestly, like, she, I'm surprised that I caught her because she got to the rower. I guess we'll see. Because you're right up, right in the back of the screen right there, right? Yeah. So, 46. I'm curious to when I got on the rower. Because I wonder what she was rowing because I caught up to her. We got off the rower around the same time. So, it looks like. It's hard to see them from that angle on they panned out. I oh, like I didn't know that. Pa I didn't know that Emma got off before me. Look, uh, are you on the row? Yeah, you're on the row. But still, that's a really big lead that she had on the row. I'm s I'm shocked. But also, I don't. She might have rested a good amount before the overhead squats. You're talking about uh, Paige. Paige, yeah, because we like oh, race. Has or a tenth of a second. Yeah, we race at the end. This row. I don't remember what I was holding. Probably like a 153 or 4. It was faster than the row before. Since you're at this point past the bottleneck and the point of difficulty. In the oh, workout, yeah. The workout's over. So what I'm you like, about at this point? You're on the row, you're trying to recover, and you know you have 20 overhead squats left. Um, Are you thinking, okay, I need to – rest a little bit and get to the barbell? Are you thinking about winning? Like, at the position you're in, what was going through your head? Um, I kind of just thought I was going to get third. Like, I was I was just like, I don't think I can really make up too much time here. I know um, Paige got on before me, and I was like, just keep a, a chill pace, but also, like, not slow by any means. Um, but I knew that those overhead squats were 
not having enough to throw me off, even if I was tired. So it was really just being smart. I did end up putting my belt back on for the overhead squats because, I mean, it's not a light bar, but if I can get a little bit of help, then hopefully I can cycle my squats a little bit faster than someone else, and I knew that I can always hold on. That's kind of where I wish that it was 20 unbroken is the end um, because I do think it would have been fun to try and hold on to 20. Um, So since you got to the rower behind Paige, you didn't know you were racing Paige at this point. No. The rower, and you're just like, I have to get to the bar? Yep. I didn't know I was racing her. I wasn't even looking at her, honestly. And I I mean, I took a while on that. Powers are getting to their first rep side by side. Brandon's gonna have a really good shot here of taking test number six. Oh, I wish that they were showing page two. Because I, I know she was squatting before me. CrossFit, we would pay $5 for a wide angle full <sighs> field shot. Oh my God, seriously. For all of the events, like, I just want to see everyone. Here we go. Oh, yeah. See, so we're going to. So, the at that point, I was like, okay, I think I can catch her. And I was just trying to. I mean, you think you're squatting so fast, but you're really not squatting that fast. A steady lock out there. You can see that arm shaking, reaching back a little bit, where Alexis Raptors on the right is just locked in tight. That's the fatigue buildup of the gymnastic skills you have. One rep remaining for both Raptors and Powers, I think. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was fun. The finish line first. I believe Paige hung onto that ball. That was incredible. <laughs> that was a really good feeling. I don't think my shoulders were burning that much. It was more my grip after the workout was over. I remember like thinking my grip was pretty smoked um, and getting like um, just like an overall oh, just an overall like fatigue in my um, forearms, but I wasn't like that tired after I feel like this workout. Isn't going to make me, wasn't going to make me very sore. Um, it was more of just like a skill workout. Um, well, was that a good feeling at the end? Because you look overjoyed and you sound overjoyed. You sound like that was like a great moment. Um, I think because I just didn't, ex- like going into this day, I didn't expect to do. I mean, you would have thought I would have done well in this workout with, with how I was feeling. I just didn't expect too much from myself, especially with how horrible it went in practice. Um, so it made it so much sweeter on the um, competition floor um and also to win a little sprint race at the end was fun oh hello and that's it this is the first time you watch yourself yeah i should watch all the other events too i yeah i'm happy with like how i looked um it was mainly just that one rope climb it would have been nice to not have to do Nobody knew at this point you were about to put your pin. Oh my god, I was in so Oh no, much you had a modium already. This is yeah. This is the waffle one when you walked in with the waffle on your foot. Oh, I took me like, I think it took me an hour and a half to eat half of that waffle, and then I had to throw it out when I got home because I was like shaking so bad. You didn't finish uh. it because I remember you sitting the. the no, I didn't finish it. I couldn't even look at that waffle. We were briefing, and I was like, "Man, that waffle's got like." 25% of it eaten it. You're just holding it. I was like, it's getting cold. I know, because I wanted to eat it so bad, but I just, I couldn't. But, yeah, I think that's why this workout, I was so happy after it, just because I didn't expect to do as well as I did, and um, to win a sprint at the end is always a really good feeling. Um, and it kind of just gave me momentum going into the last workout. It was a good one. Yeah. Back to training. Back to training. Those squats look easy for her. All right. Bye, guys. See ya. Hi, Fee. Yeah, I'm legend in the making. Nothing's gonna be the same when I go and let it say drop, drop. And my heart can't take more pain when the wind is gonna stop. If the devil will back home, I got two hoes.